Okay, this video we're gonna do some electrical troubleshooting and we're gonna talk about the importance of using connectors to narrow down the source of your problem uh, on your lighting system fault. All right, so this unit right here, it's a customer trailer and when we were doing a QA, we noticed that the uh, marker lights weren't working. So we hooked up our trailer tester and noticed when we put it on tail tag, which is marker light on this, uh, we got overload. So that's a short circuit, so that's meeting Somehow the the current is finding its way back to back to the battery without going through the the light first uh, Either through a wire touching ground or a bad light um, But when we put it on Tail tag you can see we get that overload blinking and you can actually watch the amperage uh, Spike on this when it attempts to send power out to the lights and it just uh, the circuit protection in here trips and it, it uh, opens the circuit all right, to uh, better illustrate what a short circuit is and what its symptoms are, um, I went and set up this very simple circuit right here with a battery. Uh, I got a light right here, a 20 amp self-resetting breaker with the cover removed, and a switch right here. So when I turn on the switch, you can see the light comes on, no problem. Uh, the breaker isn't tripping, and we don't have any issues. Now a short circuit is exactly what the name implies. You're taking the circuit and you're making it short. So remember, the, anything using electricity, it's gotta go through a load. It's gotta go through a light, a motor, a solenoid, something's gotta consume that electricity, um, or else you have an excess of current and uh, you can have problems. So we're gonna go ahead and take this light out and hook it straight up like this and we should see the 20 amp uh, sulfur setting circuit breaker trip once we apply power. By the way, these little 20 amp breakers, the same ones you see in a seven way, um, once you remove the cover, all it is, there's no fancy circuitry in there. There's nothing monitoring the amperage and uh, telling it when to cut off. It's just this little piece of metal right here that when it gets hot, it bends away from it. And then as it cools down, it comes back down, completes the connection. And uh, if the short condition's uh, still there again, it pops away from it. Um, and these things are made to fail in the open uh, condition uh, because short circuits aren't short for very long. Um, either a fuse blows or breaker trips, or if those things aren't there or they fail, the wire just burns up and causes a fire. So, um, all right, fire this thing up. All right, did you see it pop there? Now you should see that little metal plate come down and contact it again. The short condition is still there, so it sh should pop a second time. There we go. All right. All right, so now we're left to find the source of the uh, short to ground or the short circuit that we got. All right, so on this trailer, just because I already checked it out, the lights that are controlled by the marker light circuit are the, the dim light on the left mid turn. This left rear side marker, these two tail lights, these two tail lights, this side marker, and the right mid turn. So the short circuit could be in any one of those lights or any one of the lights, or rather the, the wires leading up to those lights. So we wanna do something to make it easier to find the source of the problem. So what we're gonna try to do is just cut the trailer in half electrically. There's, it's different on every trailer. And by the way, lights are wired up differently on every trailer. Uh, a lot of Hyundais, they split up their marker and clearance lights from left to right. Uh, some some uh, people have their markers, these two inside lights, and they'll have their clearance on the outside lights. Uh, uh, it's just important that when you're having the marker and clearance lights on, all the lights come on, including those three or five, depending on uh, the trailer type. Uh, make sure those are on as well. Okay, on, on this trailer, the first connection that you get to from the seven way is right here. And I already have the uh, covers off because I was working on this before. Some trailers, they have an electrical connection uh, right at the middle of the trailer. Uh, some have like a breakout somewhere around the, uh, the bogey. Uh, but on this one, there's no other connector straight from the seven way all the way up the, the trailer frame uh, right to here. So it's the first connection we get to. So what I was talking about before about cutting the trailer in half electrically. So what I'm gonna do is this plug, by the way, what this does, this right here, rather this one right here, this cable is what's coming up from the front of the trailer. So this has all your lighting uh, wires in it, it has left turn, right turn, brake, uh, um, marker and clearance. 
has your ABS power wire, which goes back up to the ABS, and it also has the ABS warning light wires uh, for this ABS light right here. So this connector is feeding from the front of the trailer and is feeding the tail lights in the back here. So if we unplug this, and you can see they got it uh, labeled right here. Um, this is yellow, this is for the left side. And then this cable over here, the green one, shoots over to the right side of the trailer and feeds the uh, lights for the right side of the trailer. So by unplugging this connector right here, we only have the basically the mid-turn uh, lights that are gonna be using the marker light circuit. So I'm gonna unplug this right here, reapply power, and see if we still have our short circuit. If we do, um, then we know that we have an issue in either the wiring leading up to the lights, uh, up to the mid-turn lights, or somewhere in the harness right here, somewhere, uh, 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 energized wires touching ground uh, or uh, one of the lights is bad you can have a, a bad light so um, we're gonna go up there put power back on and see if we still have our short circuit all right so we're gonna put power back on to the marker light circuit all right right there you can see that's lit up we're not getting our overload we'll go back and check the mid turns to make sure yep, you can see our mid turn light is lit up Right side's lit up too. So we can be confident that the wiring going back to that connector and these two lights is good. So we definitely have a problem at that harness or one of the lights in the rear of the trailer. Okay, so now that we know that the problem is in this rear harness or one of the four tail lights or two side marker lights, uh, we can start doing some further troubleshooting to see what uh, our problem is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this back in. I have the power turned off on the trailer tester. We're gonna plug uh, this connector back in. And we're gonna start individually unplugging the lights one by one and see if our problem goes away. If the problem goes away, then we know that the light was the problem and we can change out the light. If the problem doesn't go away, we know it's elsewhere. Uh, and speaking about the connectors, if we had another connector somewhere in the middle, uh, connecting the left and right side of the trailer. I'm pretty sure it's hardwired the whole way through over there, but if we had another connector, we could unplug that to separate the left from the right side to, to further uh, narrow down uh, where our problem is. But I'm pretty sure this whole hardwired in, so we're gonna go individually one by one. I'm gonna start off with this brake light because I know that has a marker light circuit and it's right there, it's easy to get to. Right. So now with this unplugged, if I reapply power and I still have a short circuit, uh, we know the problem is elsewhere. If the problem goes away, we know it was in the brake light. All right, got tail tag or marker light on, and you see we still have our overload. So that means that that brake light isn't the problem and our problem is elsewhere. Okay, I went and plugged back in our brake light. Uh, this uh, left side tail light is going to be hard to get out uh, without removing the light, so I'm going to just gonna do a, whatever's easiest next. That's going to be this uh, left side marker. Um, brown's right there, and uh, brown's right there, so we're going to disconnect that again, put power to the trailer, and see if we still have a problem. All right, there you go. We got a tail tag on. And there's no overload, which means that light or the, wa or the wiring in the light uh, leading up to the light is bad. So we should have all our other marker lights on. We should have a dimly lit left mid-turn, which we do. We know this is our problem light, so this isn't on. We got both our tail lights dimly lit up. That license plate light is on the clearance light two dimly lit marker lights on the other side of the tail light on the other side of the trailer dimly lit marker light on on the left or right rear side marker and right mid turn has marker light so we can be confident that light's bad we'll replace that light and that should take care of our problem